everyone, I'm teacher Mitsuko from Models of Work and today I'll be teaching you some very helpful editing tips for your O-level paper. Now let's go through a passage together and discover the tips together as well. Man is a highly mobile creature migrating and traveling to every part of the world. In this, we are not unique. Migratory birds regularly navigated. Now we have our first error here, the word navigated. There's two things you should be considering. Firstly, there's the word regularly. When something is done regularly, all the time, every two weeks, every two months, every day, you should be using present tense. Therefore, navigated is wrong. It should either be navigate or navigates. So we have to figure out either if it's plural, if it's plural or singular. It refers to migratory birds. That's plural. So we should be using navigate. Okay, migratory birds regularly navigate across across amazed distances. Doesn't sound correct because there is an error here, the word amazed. Now, be very careful with um, wrong word form. This is very common in editing passages. Be, you have to know when to convert the word into a noun, an adjective, an adverb, or in an adverb because you may be needing that skill in your editing. For this case, amazed can either be a verb or an adjective. But we need the, uh, the, the, the correct adjective here, which is amazing, which means, you know, causing wonders, causing wonders. Amazed as an adjective means, you know, greatly surprised, but that's not the correct word here. So what's the noun for, for the word amazing? That's amazement. Adjective, it could either be amazing or amazed. Verb, that's amaze. And then adverb, amazingly. So you practice that skill, changing the word form because that may really come that will come in handy for your editing. Now, whales roam the ocean, salmon, eels, and fish cross the seas in their breeding cycles. This sentence is correct. However, the error in number three is actually what set us apart. We need to read the next part, right? What set us apart? The wrong word here, I'll give you a clue ahead, is the word set because it should be sets. Now try and see why it should be sets. What set us apart is the ability to discover. Therefore, we're talking about something singular. Instead of saying sets, it should be sets. What sets us apart is the ability to discover. Other creatures share our curiosity, but men alone can communicate his discoveries to his fellows. Now, the, er the error here is the word men. Firstly, if you want to talk about all the human beings in general, you actually use the word man. And one additional clue would be his, that's singular, right? And in the beginning of the passage, it's, it's starting to use the word man. So that should actually give you a clue that I should be using man here to talk about all the human beings in general, all right? Motives. Okay, this line first. But man alone can communicate his discoveries to his fellows. There's nothing wrong in this line. Motives for. Also nothing wrong. So number five, we take that. Motives for exploration have changed over the centuries. Also nothing wrong. So we have two takes now. Prehistoric man performed prodigious feats of discovery and movement, penetrated most of the habitable parts of the world. Wrong word form again. Penetrated should be penetrating. All right, so be careful with that. Early man naturally settled on. I'm gonna repeat that line here so that so as not to confuse you. Most of the habitable parts of the world, early man naturally settled on. You already have two ticks earlier, therefore we should be checking for the errors for eight, nine, and ten. Now, early man naturally settled on. The error here is the word on. When you analyze this, analyze it with the word settled. Is on the correct word to pair with settled to create the correct phrasal verb? No, it should be settled in because when you settle in, it means you become used to living in a new place. And that's the correct phrasal verb we need in this sentence because it says, early man naturally settled in warm but fertile valleys such as the Nile or those in Mesopotamia. All right. For number nine, keep in mind, 
naturally settled in warm but fertile valleys such as the Nile. Why are we using but when there is no contrast here? The two phrases that you're combining are not contrasting each other, so you're, you're just adding an additional information. The correct conjunction should be and. Early man naturally settled in warm and fertile valleys such as the Nile or those in Mesopotamia. It must have been a search for game that led pre-agricultural hunters into higher latitudes, even to the frozen wastes of Siberia. When you read it the first time, you think there's no error, but there is. Pay close attention. Into. It should be to. Now, then you start getting confused. Like, when do I use into? When do I use onto? When do I use to? So, just to clarify, into and onto, they have, um, they are different, but they are having the same connotation, which means you just have to remember that it indicates, they indicate direction and motion. So when you use them, there's an action taking place, okay? I'm putting it into the basket or the child leapt onto his horse. There's an action taking place when you're using these two, um, these two words. But when you use two, you're basically just talking about destination and direction, which is what we want to use in the last sentence. Must have been a search for game that led pre-agricultural hunters to higher latitudes, even to the forest wastes of Siberia. And that's it. I have given you a few tips and I hope these has been helpful. These tips have been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Teacher Mystical from Writers at Work.